In this topic we are going to discuss about flow measurement techniques used in a process plant. A basic flow measurement technique is using a flow switch. Let's see how the flow switch are works. Flow switches are devices that monitor the flow through a channel and send a trip signal to various devices in the system, such as pumps. The pump can be indicated by the flow switch to shut down or turn on. Some of the general uses are for the protection of the pump, protection of the cooling circuit and alarms for flow rates that are too high or too low. Types of flow switches Flow switches are available in various types, such as flapper, target or disc, diaphragm, shuttle, piston, tuning fork etc. The flow switch consists of a flapper device hanging with the flat surface facing the direction of flow through a hinge. A permanent magnet is connected to this end. A reed contact above this magnet is located outside the fluid flow. A second magnet with opposite poles produces the force needed to reset the switch to its original normal starting point, that is at the no-flow location. When the flow is generated in the process line the force will act at the flapper and swing away. This causes the magnet's position to change in relation to the reed contact, triggering the contact. The next type is diaphragm type flow switch in construction. Diaphragm type flow switches are similar to DP switches. The only difference is that there is a gap that allows fluid to flow through the transition between the inlet and the outlet port, while it is completely closed in DP switches. The spindle begins to rise or fall depending on the extent of the flow due to the movement of DP across the self-created orifice of the switch housing and the compression spring connected to the diaphragm assembly via a spindle. Next is shuttle type flow switch. Shuttle style flow switches operate because of DP or the velocity of the liquid acting on a disc on the concept of a moving force. A shuttle at the bottom and a magnet just above the disc are connected to the disc. The shuttle body's upper part, spindle, is working against a spring of compression or gravitational force. The shuttle is displaced as the liquid flow increases to the actuation area. This shuttle operates the reed switch inside the unit stem when displaced by fluid flow. The shuttle returns when the flow decreases and sits on the port seat. Next one is tuning fork flow switch. The vibrating fork type level switch working principle is simple and effective. This make flow switches are reliable, cost effective and very popular for use in detecting the presence or absence of liquids and bulk solid materials. The vibrating fork type tuning fork flow switch working principle is based upon detecting the change in harmonic vibration frequency of the sensing element as a result of the presence of the target media. The vibrating fork type flow switch working principle uses a tuning fork shaped sensing element with two tines inserted into the bin or tank where the target media will be present. The tuning fork sensing element is placed in two vibration at its natural resonant frequency by establishing motion in the sensing element or fork. The harmonic vibration of tuning fork sensing element is established using piezoelectricity. Flow switches are commonly have sent data to DCS like a switch contact. These are two types like normally open and normally close. Use this contact type. We can say low flow and high flow switch. 